Hi, my dear friends, welcome back. In this series on success image, a guide to relish and realize goals, we bring to you this video titled as Reflect Upon Yourself. O.G. Manino, who authored The Greatest Salesman in the World, writes, Failure will never overtake me if my determination to succeed is strong enough. You have certain talents that have brought you to where you are in your life, but having talent may not be enough always. What else do you need to fast track growth in your career you have chosen? This is the time one has to sit with a pencil and a paper and make a list of all that you need in your successful foray into the future. Even before you have thought what you want to be in five years from now, then 10 years, 15 years, and 20 years from now, make a list of 20 goals of your life. What are goals? Let me quote here Robert Melton Solo, an American economist. It's a good idea to be ambitious, to have goals, to want to be good at what you do, but it is a terrible mistake to let drive and ambition get in the way of treating people with kindness and decency. The point is not that they will then be nice to you, it is that you will feel better about yourself. When we speak about goals, the first thing that comes to our mind is, what is it supposed to be? Often goals are assumed to be targets, which are not true. Goals cannot be achieved without setting smaller targets, but targets being goals is untrue. What should be the composition of a well-formulated goal? Smart. Yes, smart goals. S stands for specific, M stands for measurable, A stands for achievable, R stands for realistic, and T stands for time bound. Of late, we have added two more to make it smarter. E is for ecological, R is for resource creative. Now let us see each one of them. The first one is specific. Your goal has to be specific, not vague. Someone I know said, I aspire to be a pilot, but if circumstances do not permit, etc, etc, etc. This cannot be a goal, and least a specific one in nature. For example, a wrong goal is, I can try and become a mountaineer. The right goal is, I shall be a mountaineer. A wrong goal is, I can try and become a neurologist. The right goal is, I shall be a neurologist. Notice the difference in the above. When you are specific, you shall be. Next one is measurable. Someone came to me and said, I will be very rich by the time I am 40 years in age. Someone else said, I will succeed in transport business and shall own at least a thousand transport vehicles by the time I am 50 years of age. When we say rich, how rich? For a normal person, a million dollars may be rich. For a high aiming person, a hundred million may be the measure of richness. Specify anything in terms of value. Once you bring in a value, it is measurable. Alternatively, the value of success need not be only quantitative. It can also be qualitative. There is another connotation of richness and that is emotional. But the denomination of success is different in such cases, which we are not discussing here. This connotation varies from person to person. The next is achievable. Take for example a high jumper. The level of competition he or she is training for is significant in setting the goals. If you set to become an Olympic champion, then you must be a person to attempt at 2.3 to 2.35 meters height when you are ready. When you start to train, you must start at a pretty decent height and start gradually increasing. But what if you set the bar at 3 meter height in the beginning of your training and start your practice? Will you be able to ever achieve it? It stops you because the moment you run to the post, you realize that you cannot make it. You never jump to cross the bar and you have no chance of reaching your ultimate goal. When we say achievable, it shall be true to your ultimate long term goal as well as your broken down short term goals, which are the targets. You have four years to prepare for the Olympics then. 
Maybe you can break it down into short term goals that you will clear a certain height in the next six months and again increase in further period of six months. If you exceed, you can very well cut short the duration which is only to your advantage. The potential of a person matters in achieving a goal. The next one realistic. This also appears to be same as the previous two, measurable and achievable. One has to be realistic while setting goals. The goals shall be practical and realistic to achieve. A car company announced that they wanted to take 80% of the market share of car market in India in the next 10 years. Is it really possible? Is there any research done about the competitors? What are they best at technology and in sales? The market and what are the opportunities in the market in the next 10 years? Without a clear plan based on scientific research, it appears to be unrealistic. Hence, goals have to be realistic on the physical and the psychological plane. The meaning of being realistic is not to be negatively connoted. It is positive and it denotes the gap between the possible and the impossible. In some cases, there is possibility to fill the gap to make it realistic. Many impossible things are made possible by human effort alone. The next one is time bound. As I have stated, goals to be time bound are a must. Otherwise, the goals can neither be measured nor evaluated. Imagine what happens if your newspaper boy always do not deliver your daily newspaper in time. The annual examinations do not happen at the right time or the train or the flight never reach the destination in time. For everything in life, one has to draw up a time-bound plan. You can measure if there is a time-bound plan. You cannot measure what you don't plan. If you want to retire from your job at 45 years of age, but you can also retire at 55 age or at the age of 60. Does it make a difference? Yes, a lot. You have cut short the important phase of your lifetime span by about 10 to 15 years. The next one is ecological. Ecology is the study of relationships between living organisms, including humans, and their physical environment. It seeks to understand the vital connections between plants and animals and the world around them. We have to set our goals such that they are eco-friendly and progressive in terms of developing human relations and taking ecological activities to next levels. In India and elsewhere across the world, the traffic of people in public transport is huge. The people using their own transport like cars, SUVs, SUVs, motorbikes, scooters are also huge. In the process, I came across a youngster who bought a bicycle and ride for about 45 minutes in the morning and in the evening to and from his workplace. Is it not commendable? Businesses are laying more impetus for going about their activities in an eco-friendly manner and it is but natural that individual goals too should follow. The last one is resource creating. Resource can be financial, people, relationships, etc. Your goal should never lose focus on these resources as one of the main purpose of setting and achieving smart goals are these. Your goal should be meaningful to create financial resources for yourself or your company. It may not be a value creating that if you are earning and your company is making losses in your business life. It is never a win-win situation for you and your company. Similarly, it should be a win-win situation between you or your company and your customers. When you keep relationships that are a resource for you and your company, you succeed. In the process, never lose focus of what resource your goals will ultimately create for yourself. Let us see about how to set the goals in order. Most of the times people do not set mid-term and long-term goals and when I ask them, they do not know what is it all about. Their time is spent in the achieving and the present day targets and by the time they complete the assignments of the day, oh my god, they are left with little energy to do anything else. Just think for a while, if you want to be a saint who gives his entire life to the society and community, 
the community in turn takes care of his minimum needs. Is it analogous for the business organization and you? Does it work this way? They say, are you dedicated yourself to a business entity for life? If it is your family run business, it makes some sense, right? In the present day world, the concept of lifetime employment and opportunities are far from over. When both these are not something you aim for, why so much of negligence to review your own goals? It often happens that we are so much indulgent in the present that we forget about the future and our experiences from the past. I have personally seen many youngsters that do not plan their finances for the difficult times, who do not keep a surplus fund for emergency, do not foresee and plan their careers. All this is because they don't have proper goals. You must have a daily to record your personal thoughts and experiences. Start it today and now. It is the most important record of your professional career. Your goals must be aimed at making you self-sufficient and bountiful. Once you find that your goals are there and you are steadily progressing towards it, then the path becomes clear and visible. You know when to take or let go of offers, how to create opportunities, more importantly, when to say no, whom to befriend and whom not to. Primarily life goals are many. Friends, we come to the end of this video session. We request you to like the video in case you have liked it for sure and subscribe to the channel which is a lot of encouragement for us to move on giving more and more such good videos and subscribe for sure because more and more videos may be restricted only to subscribers. You can subscribe by pressing the subscription link below this video or you can subscribe by pressing on the subscription which will follow later in this video. Thank you.